Hello everybody, it's me, ProgramTuber17, and in the last video we looked at OLL. So in this video we're going to be looking at PLL, which is permutation of the last layer. So, normal PLL has t more than 15 algorithms, so we were going to be doing Tulip PLL, which has less than 10 algorithms, for this too. So now let's get to Okay, it. so what we want to do first is orientate all of the corners. So these two corners are already orientated, so you put it on the left side, and you do this algorithm. So what you want to do is first take out this piece and put it over its spot with the left with the corners on the side that are orientated on the left side. And then you want to bring down this right side, front face counterclockwise, and then bring up the right face twice, put this piece in, and bring it down, then turn the front face one more time, Take out this piece, like that, and then undo the front face clockwise and turn it counterclockwise, and you would have all your corners orientated. So in the last algorithm, we looked at if there was any corners orientated. In this case, there will be none. So what we want to do for this is just a, a, an algorithm almost like that, but we're going to be cutting up in two. So what we want to do is first turn the front face clockwise, and then insert this piece into here, like that then turn the front top row counterclockwise take this piece out and un and undo that front face clockwise by doing counterclockwise that's the first half then what we want to do is take out this piece like that put it over its spot and do r prime or bring down the right right side turn the front face clockwise bring up the right side and turn the front face counterclockwise and you would have all the corners orientated this okay, way so now we'll be looking at cases where one side is solved so now we want to see where these pieces have to go we are going to only look for these two so we see that this red piece has to go over here and for this algorithm what we have to do is bring up the right side twice turn the top row counterclockwise take out this piece like that then you want to bring down this right side put this piece in bring down again put this piece in one more put the next piece in bring it down and then you just have to memorize this part just turn the top row clockwise and bring down the right side okay so now we'll be looking at where this piece goes over to that side what we do is we take this piece and put it in the back like that then we want to take this piece out and this piece out. And then we want to push this right side up, put this piece in and put it down, put this piece in and do a R2 and you would have the cube solved. The last and next two cases are where there is not a side solved. And I would say these two algorithms are gonna be the easiest. This is when, this algorithm is when all of these middle pieces are flipped. Opposite of red is orange, and there's orange right here. Opposite of orange is red, and red is right here. Opposite of blue, green. Opposite of green, blue. If there's a case like this, what we want to do is we want to bring this middle row, which we call M, we want to bring it up twice. How I do M, we want to do M2. We want to bring it up twice, and without doing it with one finger, there's an easier way is where you get your ring finger, do it once, and you take your middle finger after it, and you push it up, like that. Let's do practice, and it'll come. So this algorithm is M2. Then you turn the top face counterclockwise. Then you do another M2. Turn the top face counterclockwise twice. Then you do another M2. Then you do one more counterclockwise, and M2 and you would have the cube solved. The last algorithm is where the two, p the two faces next to each other are flipped. What we do for this is we have to use some M moves, but when we push this M side up, it's actually called not called M, it's called M prime. So I'm gonna be saying M prime. So this algorithm goes like this, M prime, U, and then M2, U, pr U prime, M2, 
U prime, M prime, U two, M two, U, and it would be solved. And that's all for this video. And then that's all you need to know for CFOP. And if you keep on practicing this, you can get under 30 seconds or even less.